Uh, hello, uh, hello everyone. Uh, it's Peter. Uh, starting from this class, I will cover the Amazon Web Services. Uh, we simply say AWS. Uh, now, in current industry, uh, more and more companies they will migrate their application, uh, their legacy application to AWS. The good thing for AWS is it provides different kinds of services, lots of services for different uh, requirement. Uh, and uh, with AWS, it can easily implement the uh, scalable, uh, extensible, and uh, distributed system for your application. And uh, the price is pretty low. Uh, so uh, in current world, everybody is talking about the cloud, uh, cloud computing, uh, cloud, everything is cloud. And AWS, I think, is uh, uh, dominating the market of the cloud services. Uh, some other services, including, I think, I believe it's Microsoft Cloud or uh, Google Cloud, but I think AWS is the most popular one. Okay. Uh, now here, uh, I will go through some topics we will cover. Uh, the first thing is that uh, you, you, uh, before this class, you, you are supposed to already have an AWS account. Uh, so uh, if you are the first time user of AWS, you will have a one year free account a free tier account. Uh, it says free, it means most of services are free, but not everything is free. So when you create uh, a new account with your Gmail account, uh, with your Gmail address, then uh, this, uh, the important thing is, uh, number one, you need to give a credit card. So so if you use some, some special services, uh, you might need to be charged. Uh, so during the class, I will tell you which one is free, which one is not free in, for, your, for your first year free tier. Uh, but starting from the second year, uh, and uh, you need to be, uh, as a training, as a study purpose, you can, you can close your account. So you won't be charged anything. Uh, so uh, one thing very important is you also need to download um, a AWS CLI, command line interface. Uh, we will use uh, the CLI a lot uh, during the training. So you go to this website. Okay. You go to this website. Uh, I give you the website. So this is how to install. So there's an instruction, okay? With Linux, then if you are Windows, you select the Windows uh, version. Then you uh, you download this MSI file and you double click it and you just automatically install this CLI. Uh, after you input CLI, then if you go to command line, you can say AWS a version, uh, so it will give the version. If this shows the correct, shows this information, then it means you successfully installed the uh, CLI. And after that, you need to uh, configure uh, the next step. And uh, let's say after that, uh, after completing and install, then you will perform a quick setup. Uh, the quick setup is very important. You need to have the access key, secret key. So when you create an account. You need to have a key, secret key. Uh, I will talk about later, and uh, you have to run this command. Okay. So before I go through this part, uh, let me finish these topics uh, because the first topic I will cover is IAM. So I will talk about the security key, uh, the access key, and the secret key. Uh, IAM uh, is Identity Access Management. So it's used everywhere uh, in all the services, and EC2 uh, is the most important service in. Uh, uh, in AWS, uh, it's called Elastic Compute, uh, Cloud Computing. So there are two C's, so it's called EC2. And uh, then it's ECS, uh, Elastic Container Services. So last time uh, for EMP services, uh, employee services, so we already created a Docker image. Right? Uh, so with EC2, you can create a Docker image through the uh, EC2 instance. Even you don't have Docker uh, at your local laptop, uh, I will give you an instruction of how to uh, create a Docker image and the EC2 instance. And the ECS actually is also based on EC2, but it, it will automatically uh, create an environment for you uh, with the, this ECS. And, uh, uh, and also, finally, it will launch EC2 to, uh, to launch your application. Uh, this is uh, Elastic Container Services. S3 uh, is a simple storage service. If you go to S3, uh, it looks like your file uh, system. Okay, you have folder, you have subfolder, and, uh, and then you can upload the files there. Uh, it's, it's just like this, but actually it's not. So it's based on a hash or bucket. So it means that all the folders are the bucket and the, the file is the key. 
Okay. So it's similar like our hash map. We have key value pairs, right? So each uh, folder or subfolder, uh, the path will be becomes a bucket, and each file will becomes the key. Okay. And then DynamoDB, okay, that's also another very important service. Uh, is a, a base, is a database based on the key value pairs. So we will spend some time to talk about DynamoDB. And in our employee services, and finally we will uh, migrate our uh, relational database uh, like H2 to this DynamoDB uh, with the same database. Uh, we only need to change the DAO package and the other part we don't have to change. The other two is SQS and SNS, simple queue services and simple notification service. Okay. So they are also very important and very useful. And then the next big topic is Lambda function and the serverless application. Uh, here you see the name serverless means that without server. Uh, you know, uh, in our employee services, uh, if you launch, launch the application, you will launch a server. Uh, it, it's a Spring Boot embedded server, Apache server. Right? But this serverless application, you cannot see server at all. You just use a Lambda function to implement the logic and you can build a serverless API. Also, you can build your REST API uh, without any server. Uh, this is a Lambda function. This is also very important. I will give you a big session for this one. And the Lambda function will be integrated with uh, S3, DynamoDB, SQS, and all other services. So uh, lots of other services can, can involve a Lambda function. Uh, so it means that the Lambda function not only uh, uh, used, uh, not only uh, used for the serverless application, it can only be a event-driven uh, logic for this Lambda function. Uh, be careful. In Core Java, in Advanced Java programming, we talk about the Lambda function. That's the uh, Java 8 feature uh, in uh, uh, in Core Java. But here, when we say Lambda function here, it's totally a different concept in AWS. Okay. Don't mess up uh, with the Core Java uh, Lambda, uh, Lambda function. Okay. Then after that, we will talk about the batch processing and the step function. Uh, step function. So step function is the uh, uh, management of lambda function and other services to create uh, a step. And the batch processing is to uh, process some batch. So uh, in Spring, we have actually um, I was supposed to give you a topic about the Spring batch, but uh, after we have this batch processing in AWS, then Spring batch becomes a legacy system. We can all migrate Spring Batch to this uh, batch processing in AWS. Okay. That's uh, roughly the topics uh, of the uh, AWS services. And uh, uh, while in, uh, in, uh, during the uh, training, uh, after I get more services, I, I may add more. Uh, but uh, at least I will cover all those services. Okay. Now, next, let's talk about IAM. Okay. So uh, before we uh, come to this picture, let's go to the uh, AWS. You can go to this uh, uh, aws.amazon.com slash console uh, is to go to the AWS console. And then you can log back in. Uh, so uh, I already logged it. So then let, let's sign out. Uh, I start from scratch. So let's log back in. So you can you can see uh, there are two types of users. One is called IAM user. One is called the root user. So it means that uh, if you create a new account, you become the root user. So you have your email address as your username and you have your own password. So let's start from the root user. Uh, let's log with you, root user. And then you have, this is my email address. And then you can see next. And you input your password. Okay, I will sign in. Uh, this is a root account. Uh, this is root account. In the root account, uh, if you are worried about your uh, bills from AWS, so you, you might get charged, even you are in the free tier account. So you can go to this, uh, this is my Peter's AWS. So you can go to the billing dashboard. You will check uh, what's the current billing information. Okay? So this is a billing. Uh, so this one, I already um, more than my uh, one free tier. So I got some little charge. But don't worry, the, 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 this charge is very little. It's very, very little. Uh, just uh, maybe one month, uh, several bucks, no more than 10 bucks. Uh, so not, not much. Uh, unless you want to convert your account to an enterprise application and business purpose. Uh, for business purpose, then, of course, th that's a lot. But for the personal use, just uh, uh, several several dollars, not usually more, not more than ten dollars. 
per month. If you don't use it, most of the time it's just uh, one or two bucks. Uh, that's it. Uh, now let's go back to uh, to home. Okay. Uh, okay. Let's go back to the uh, let's say okay. here we can search for services. Okay. You can search for the or you can use service here. You can you can find out find out those services. But usually I don't use this one. I just input the service that I want. For example, I go to IAM. I go to IAM. Okay. So this is IAM user. Uh, so it's called this. so on the left side we have one, two, three, four, four concepts called the user groups, users, roles, policies. Okay. Uh, so when you start using your AWS, usually you don't use root account. You can create an IAM user. Okay. So let's go to the user part. Okay. I already created my user. This user, uh, this user, if you see the, the details, so you can see there's a, a two policies, it's admin policy. So it means that at least you create admin user, which has all the accessibility, uh, all the authentication for all the services. And uh, then I have another one is I can change password, right? So the password after after some time I, need, I will update, I will change my password. Okay, this is the uh, admin user. So if you want to create more user, you can create more user, but uh, I think for the free tier, you are, you can create uh, up to five users. Uh, you cannot create more, more than five, up to five users. Uh, now, now we can go to this picture. I will explain what is user, user group, role, and policy. So we have user, we have user group. Uh, user group is a, is, a, is a group of users, it's a list of users. Uh, so they are actually at the same level. So it means that the user group may have some accessibility. So, for example, the user group can access the policy one. The policy one can access this is the DynamoDB, right? And the user group can access policy two. Uh, policy is to define your accessibility. So, the policy one can access uh, DynamoDB. Policy two can access Amazon S3, and policy three can access SQS. So, there are the three different policies. Uh, the policies can be uh, uh, AWS managed or user defined. So. Uh, currently, we most of the time we use the uh, uh, the AWS managed policy, so it will provide you the policy to access database or SQS or S3. Okay. Now, let's assume that this user group you can create a user group uh, with a with a name, and uh, it can access policy one and policy two, which means they can access Amazon DynamoDB and uh, Amazon S3. Now, you create uh, another user one and user two. You can add the user one, the user two into this user group, and then the user one, the user two may, will also have the same accessibility. Right? This is very straightforward, easy. Right? Or you can create user three that does not belong to any user group. So the user three can have policy one and policy two. So it means that user three can also have the accessibility to DynamoDB and S3. That's user three. Right? So I think it's easy to understand the user group and the user three. Uh, so in a company, usually we create lots of user groups. For example, for business people, they may only want uh, Amazon S3. I can create a user group to access users uh, uh, S3. But this user group does not have authority to access any other uh, services. So then you can you can add all the business people to this user group, okay? and then you can have a user group for developers. Okay? Developers may. Uh, should have uh, authority to access Dyn uh, Dyn uh, DynamoDB, right? That's database, uh, but it cannot access S3, uh, for example. Then you can uh, you can add all the developers into that user group. So user group is very helpful. But in our training, because we only have one user, so so you you may or may not have a user group to contain only this one user. That's fine. So it's up to you. Right? Uh, and uh, then this is user and user group. Then what is role? Uh, a role is a different concept. The, the, the role is similar to user or user group. It can also attach policies. Like right? for this role, it has policy two and policy three. Policy two can access S3 and the policy three can access SQS. So this is the role. But role is not, is the difference between role and the user uh, users is the role doesn't have any username, password, access key, or secret key. They don't have those things. So a user can assume roles uh, to another user uh, okay, or to a, to a service, can assume roles to a service. And 
And uh, for to understand this role, uh, we will create lots of roles in during our training. So then you will understand what is role, uh, what is role. So if a service like EC2 service, they want to access DynamoDB, they need you need to create a role to assume uh, and, and assume this role for this service. And this, then the EC2 instance can access Dynamo, uh, DynamoDB. Uh, this is role. Uh, be careful, role does not have any username, password, access key, or secret key. But for each user, it can either have username, password, or access key, or and secret key, or both. Now, let me create a user uh, to see what happens here. Now, let's come back. Uh, let's come back to here. Now, for user. Now, I want to create, so uh, for, for your preference, so you need to create a, a user with admin. Uh, uh, authority, uh, admin policy. Now we can uh, add a user. Okay. Uh, username, I say is a test. Uh, let's say, um, give a name, say, uh, dummy, uh, let's say, my admin, uh, my admin. Let's give a username. Then there's a, you can select credential type, like key and password. So you can you, you must select this one. If both of them are, are empty, then you cannot go to next. So for example, I, I get both. I have access key and the password. Both access key and the password. And the, the password can be auto, automatically generated by AWS, or you can use custom password. I give a pa custom password. So I input my password. Uh, so I just use the dummy password. The password does not confirm the uh, account password policy, so it has uh, let's test one two three four and the shop, and this is the uh, is the my password. Now, require password reset. Uh, user must create a new password at the next sign in. Uh, so it means that the first time you sign in, uh, you need to reset the password. Uh, so I can uncheck this one. But if you use auto auto generated password, then you may need to check this one. So it means that it automatically generates a random uh, uh, letters, and then after the first sign in, you you should uh, uh, give the uh, you should change your password to your preference. Right? Now, next is permission. Right? That's permission. Uh, now you can add a user to a group, okay, or information from existing user or I use the third one. If you have a group, you can add a group. Now currently we don't have a group, you need to create a group. Uh, so then you, if you want you can create a group, then you can also attach existing policies directly. It means this user does not have belong to any group. Okay. So the first one is admin accessibility, uh, ad, admin access, uh, admin access. Uh, now that's it. So if you have this access, then you, you have all the permissions. Okay. Now, Next, okay. so I have key value pairs. So uh, name, uh, you can have a uh, uh, test user, uh, just a test user. Okay, then you can have a review. So this is for uh, for your uh, for search purpose. You will, you want to search for some service or some some user, you can use the key, uh, the value to search for that. The next review, so you can get a review of that. Okay. And then you can create a user. Uh, later on, I just give it the user demonstration, and later on I will delete this user because I already created user BIBAO here. I will use that user in our class. Uh, this is my admin. So you can see this is the access key. Uh, you can copy it, and then it's a secret access key. You can show this one. So it means you can copy this one as the access key, this one. And then you can have this uh, secret key. Okay, so that uh, secret key. Yeah, you just uh, uh, copy paste to some notepad uh, uh, to save it. So uh, you have those things, but actually you 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 can you can deactivate this access key and the secret key and change to another one. So if you need, you can send an email. So this email is your registered account. You can send an email to that, and then you then you can save that one, and, and then you can close. Okay. You have to copy it, copy this. Otherwise, you may not need, 
be able to find this secret key in the future. Okay, you have to copy this, then close it. Okay, so this is my admin. Uh, this is my admin. Okay. So uh, this is my user, and this is how many days ago, okay, active key ago. So this is, uh, now I have two users. I have two users. Okay, now next, uh, I can, uh, I will show you what's the user, uh, what, what's the uh, uh, username password and the exact key, secret key. For username password, uh, then I can log out. Let's see, I sign out. And log back in. So I can use the IAM user. Okay. Uh, I am user, then I have to get uh, my account ID. Uh, my account ID, uh, I think, is. Uh, okay. Uh, now let, let, let's go back. Still, let's use it because I cannot remember my account, account ID. It's a, it's a long digit. So I can give an alias for the user. So let's come back. So for this one. Uh, for the root user, okay. For the root user, then go to IAM. So users. Now I go to this user. Uh, this user there's a place to give an alias. So the next time, if I want to. Uh, access it, I can use alias. Uh, uh, alias. Uh, oh, another important thing is the region. Uh, so, for user, there's no constraint of the region, but uh, you know, for the different services, it may have region. We will talk about later. Uh, and the uh, account setting. Uh, here's the account setting, uh, endpoint. Uh, let's see. Okay. Now this is a count ID here. Let's copy it. Let's copy the count ID. Now let's uh, sign out. Let's say, so I use this user, use account, okay. So use this account, I can give to this one, it's my admin, and the password. I don't remember because in the future I will delete this account, so then I log in. So you can see username and the password is the way to log in the console. And the access key and the secret key is to be used in your development, uh, in your code. Okay. Now, then this is, uh, then I go to my IAM. Okay. Now oh, here, you can see this is a double account, and then this is a account alias. Uh, so, uh, let me think. Uh, Uh, this account, oh, 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 I already give the uh, alias for from another admin account. So it means that, okay, let's let's do it. Uh, if you don't have a account alias, then you can edit it. You can you can create a, an account alias here if you log in uh, as a, as admin. Okay, then I already have an account alias. So then I sign out. Uh, if I log back in, so I can use the alias. Then I can use the my admin. Yeah, I can also log in. Okay. Uh, so this is the console, and uh, here uh, from IAM, you know how to uh, generate an alias. So usually I cannot remember my account. That's a long, uh, like twelve digits. Okay. So here I can I can create an alias for the account. Now next, now from IAM I can also add a user. Uh, uh, for example, now for my admin, uh, for this user, uh, this is my own user, and I can this user can go to any service. Like if you want to go to the DynamoDB, uh, then you can access DynamoDB.
Yeah. You can go to the tables. Uh, here you can see all the tables. You can go to S3, S3 bucket. So because admin can access any anywhere, uh, any services. Okay. Now this is the order uh, my created folder before. Now next, let's come back to IAM. Let me create another user. Now this user has a limited accessibility. So let's see what happens. Now, for example, I add another user because this is uh, is a free tier account, and I can go to up to five users. So now that's the thirty third one. The name say let's say is Bob. Okay. I don't need the access key. I only need the password. Uh, password. Then I use the same password. So, but this is not to have it just as a demo. I just give uh, make me easy to uh, to remember. Okay. So I use the same one. I don't need to log in. So next permission. I want to show the permission part. So for example, I only this this one can only access S3. So you can have Amazon S3 full access. Then next. Okay, I just review. So this Bob can only access S3. It cannot access other uh, uh services. Now I will create this user, this Bob. Now let's close it. Now this is Bob. So if you see the Bob, it has permission is Amazon S3 full access. It can access S3. Uh, now let's uh, sign out. Then uh, sign to console, sign back. So the account is, I use this as account. And uh, the user is Bob. Let's see. Okay, now I can go to S3. Because this user can access S3. See, you can see all of them. But if you go to uh, DynamoDB, uh, another service, that's a, another popular service. See, if I want to see the table, see, there's no, no match. You cannot see those tables. Can you create a table? For example, I want to create a table, uh, a dummy table. Yeah. Let's say PK is the partition key. This one we'll talk about later, just to give you a chance to see if you can create a table. See, This user is not authorized to perform DynamoDB, DynamoDB table. So it cannot create a table, it cannot see any table, right? Uh, as as admin, you can see there's a table created there as a student table, but the, as a bar, it does not have authority to create a table. So this is a limited authority. So from here, you cannot see anything. Uh, you cannot see anything. Okay. Uh, now, your role does not have permission to view the list of tables. See, see that. Uh, then I just log out. Okay. So uh, this is uh, about the user and the user group. Let's uh, sign in. I go to my own account. So everybody should have an, an IAM user. Uh, never, never use your root user to play with AWS. You must at least create one admin user so that you can go to any services. So this is my admin user. Uh, username, uh, this is my password. I remember, uh, this one I sign in. So I will basically use this user to go to through the training. Uh, and then I go back to IAM. Because this is admin, I have authority to uh, delete other users. So for example, if I have user, I have two users. So, uh, oh, sorry. Uh, there's one, one more thing. So, uh, after you uh, go to AWS, so you have AWS config. Let's. Uh, I just forgot this one. This important one. Uh, okay. So go to this web page. Uh, you download the CLI and the next step. Uh, next step. Uh, so you will get access key and secret key. I will explain this part. You can run AWS config, then you input your access key and secret key, 
and reaching them. So reaching them, we uh, I'm uh, on east. I use us dash east dash one. So this is my region. Uh, my default region is uh, us east one. Uh, and uh, you can select your region. So if you are at uh, Los Angeles, uh, and you, you should use US West 1 or US West 2. Okay. Uh, then let's come back. So after after you follow this instruction, default output format, you can use JSON or you just return. Just return. So they will use default format. Okay. And after you carry this, so go to Go to your folder, go to your uh, users, uh, go to my user, and then you can see it dot AWS. And this AWS, you will see the config credentials and the, uh, uh, the two files. In the config, uh, if you open edit with this one, so it's the region, this gives the region, right? And uh, this is a default region. Uh, this is default region. This is another profile. I will explain profile in the future. So this is config. And then, this is credential. Uh, credential will contain your uh, access key, secret key, those things. But uh, I would like would, would not rather to give my credential to you because it's secret for me. So I give you a dummy, uh, dummy one. Uh, this is uh, a copy from that. So from that one, you can see the default one, default profile with with AWS underscore access underscore key underscore ID with this your under is your uh, access key and this is your secret key and you can have more different profiles like if you want to handle different users uh, for different environment you may have more so use bracket with your profile so in the future we will show you the profiles okay. so you can you can use the profile to get your own services for that profile or for that specific user so this is also very important so you have to keep your access key and the secret key uh, ready for in, in the future use. So because in our code, we may input the access key and the, and the, uh, and the secret key uh, to run our instance, uh, to run our uh, Spring APP and uh, Spring Boot and so on. Okay. So this is uh, about the access key and the secret key. So uh, in a word, username password is designed to uh, log in to your AWS console. And the access key and the secret key is designed to for your development. Uh, you write some code, you want to connect to AWS, you use the CVT to connect to the AWS services. Okay. Uh, so this is pretty much about uh, IAM. Uh, IAM. So next class, uh, we will move to the most important topic, EC2. Okay. And uh, uh, in EC2, uh, we will launch our Spring Boot APP, and uh, I, I will go slowly to go through all the detailed access. So uh, from my own experience, uh, so at the beginning, it's very confusing. So you don't know where to start uh, and uh, how to make something work. Uh, so I will give you a step-by-step -step, uh, tutorial to help you go into this AWS world. Uh, thank you.